Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to the Coffee Pot. My name is Chisha Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. Today's video is gonna be focused on my subscribers. Guys, one of the most dangerous things a man can do today is get married. We know that. If you're a regular um, viewer of my content, you already know that it is dangerous out here. It is not safe in these streets. <laughs> right? If you're looking for a good woman, if you're looking for a woman who's wife and material, good luck. Some of you don't like that coffee. This coffee smells like shit. Today's post comes from Twitter. And I know you guys hear Twitter and you think, oh, here we go again. Yeah. Here we go again. At least it's not TikTok, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> this post read... Damn man ghosted his fiance after their wedding day because she had a bachelorette party and a video was sent to him of the male stripper having chocolate drip off his private part. I had to play that sound. Into her mouth. <sighs> if you didn't catch that, guys, I'm, I'm going to explain it. So imagine you decide to make the biggest mistake of your life in 2022, which is to get married. <laughs> um, why is that funny? It's funny because it's true. And it's also funny because I tell you guys that, you know, I value marriage and I probably would get married. But these are dangerous times for a man who values marriage and sees marriage as something that is good. But imagine you're this guy, right? You think you found the woman of your dreams. You love her, right? You've proposed, you've gotten in one knee. You've imagined a future with this woman. You've gone through a lot of 304s to get to this woman. You think she's the one, right? You're celebrating with a cafe latte. Get me a cafe latte. And then out of nowhere, as you approach the wedding day, you get a video from your future wife's sister of her eating chocolate dripping off a stripper's joystick at her bachelorette party. Please imagine this shit. This is brutal. This is brutal. Now, I read this story from Twitter. And we're going to get into a few of these comments because I also shared this story on my community page. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to read a comment from Twitter in response to this situation, which is going to probably blow you guys' minds or not. Right. But this, this shit's crazy. And then I'm going to read a comment from my YouTube subscribers. So it's going to go comment from Twitter, comment from my subscribers. Here we go. The first comment coming from Twitter says unpopular opinion. That's not cheating. Yes, she says. That's not cheating, and her sister is a snitch. <laughs> I can't believe what I'm reading right now. The post goes on to say, the chocolate is dripping off his joystick from a show, and it's like, uh, oh, it's her bachelorette party? Volunteers her type vibe? Like, okay, so she's getting volunteered to do this. She didn't have a choice. There was a lot of pressure on her. But wait, there's more. She says, either y'all sexually reserved or y'all relationship ain't strong enough. People who trip probably think going to the strip club is cheating. Like what? Take me and give me money to throw. I want some hotties too. With a bunch of exclamation marks. So, guys, this is a woman who thinks there's nothing wrong with what happened at that bachelorette party. Right. In this woman's profile pic, she's flipping off the camera. She's got the finger in her mouth. I don't see a man in, in the photo. She's probably not married. She's probably, you know what I mean, a 304, of course, to no surprise. Women actually think like this. So next, we're going to check out a comment from one of my subscribers. This subscriber says, I'd like to congratulate him on successfully dodging a bullet. Yes, sir. I agree. I agree. Coming at 141 likes. This man makes sense. Let's get back to Twitter. This female Twitter commenter responded with, 
So you can't enjoy yourself at your bachelorette party with a thinking emoji. You can't enjoy yourself at your bachelorette party. <laughs> Guys, this is a woman who's going to get married. And before she gets married, she wants to do her last final three or four acts. These women can't help it, man. They can't leave the streets. She's got to enjoy one more. And listen, that's the part that got recorded, right? We don't know what happened that night. Because you're not just going to have chocolate dripping from a man's joystick. And you're just going to forget about it. I think more happened that night. I'm sorry, I just do. Call me a pessimist. I call myself a realist, man. What's up? This coffee smells like shit. I know you don't like that coffee. If you're a woman who thinks this is okay, or a man, you don't like this coffee. All right, so next comment comes from one of my subscribers who says, Post reading this, I've strongly concluded that women of the West are primarily for recreational use only. And even that is sketchy given the modern socio-cultural political climate. Men, protect your mental health, potential economic prosperity, and overall well-being. And there's some truth in that comment. There are plenty of women out here who have nothing to offer a man outside of busting those cheeks. There are plenty of women out here who don't know what they're getting wrong about relationships, why men aren't picking them, why they're still single, right? But she doesn't know how to cook, clean, doesn't know how to act like a lady, doesn't know how to let go of the streets. Ladies, let go of the streets, even on as they approach their wedding day, they can't let go of the streets. Come on, man. The shit is crazy. Moving on. Back to Twitter. This commenter said, so men don't be at their bachelorette parties? This is a real question. And of course, here's a situation where a woman thinks men and women are the same, right? There's no difference between men and women. When a woman is truly into a man, she's not going to want to do that at the bachelor party. She's not going to want to jeopardize any situation with a man who she's really into, a man who she views as that alpha. Right? She won't want to do that. Luckily for this guy, he found out moments before he was about to make the biggest mistake of his life. Our next comment comes from one of my subscribers. He said, shout out to the sister who showed him the horrible mistake he was about to make marrying that one. Buy her a bottle of her favorite drink and keep it pushing. Come on. Get this man a cafe latte. Get me a cafe latte. Back to Twitter. This female commenter says, so y'all don't think a bride brush her teeth and gargle with mouthwash on her wedding day? That's everyday hygiene. Really relax. <laughs> and listen, I know a lot of you guys are reading this and thinking, oh, she's funny. She's being sarcastic. No, 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 no. See, the intelligent people read that and say, there's no way this chick could be serious. She's serious. She seriously typed that and thought, like, she's going to brush her teeth. What's the big deal? Come down. This is how women think, bro. It's not a big deal. She's going to brush her teeth. <laughs> Shit. Back to my, uh, you know, actually, this is not one of my subscribers. This is a male commenter on Twitter. He says, my perspective is that if a person is really invested in getting married, the last thing they should be interested in doing before the wedding day is reckless, lustful activities. He goes on to say, I always found it odd act of group thought slash sheeping how people choose wild shit before the weddings that is true like why is it that before a wedding day everyone has to do the most just despicable sexual thing possible right and in this situation unfortunately cost us later her marriage so back to my subscribers this subscriber after reading that the man left the woman after he watched the video commented and said he is a man of focus commitment and sheer will now he got 44 likes and a bunch of people laughed at that comment 
I saw like a reference that said like this was maybe a John Wick reference from like the movie or something like that. I'm not sure. Someone please explain to me why this is funny. Um, I mean, it was funny to me, but there's something I'm missing here and I need your help to understand why. I don't know everything. Let me know, guys. I appreciate y'all. Back to Twitter. This female commenter says she was wrong as hell, but her sister was wronger. Yikes. So this female commenter is saying, okay, I will give him that right? The guy who was going to marry the chick. She was wrong, but he's, but she says, excuse me, that she was wrong, the sister to the bride, for snitching and sending the groom that video. Why? Because of that sister code. That sister code is real. A lot of women out here would not have done this. A lot of women out here have been to bachelorette parties. Yes. Could have been yours, dog. And seen your wife or your future wife do, will do, or has done despicable things, disgusting things with strippers, male strippers, and they've kept it all a secret. Which leads me to my last comment here from Twitter that says, and this is a, a male who said this, he says, this happens a lot at bachelorette parties. Male strippers give the bride a private dance, and the next day she's kissing her husband with another man's nut on her lips. <laughs> I know that's hard to take in, bro. I know that's hard to take in. I've always thought there's something weird about the whole like bachelorette thing, right? I always thought it was strange. I don't think men should allow that. I don't think men should allow um, male strippers at their bachelorette party. I don't even, listen, the, the chick who was saying, um, the guys who are against this are probably against taking a woman to a strip club or like a male strip club or a female strip club. I don't get the point with putting your wife in the type of situation where another man is gonna drip chocolate drippings into her mouth, right? For the for this thought of sexual thrill, especially if you are RP aware. especially if you know female nature and any woman who's out here and wants to experience that in that time where she's about to be a wife isn't ready to be a wife ideally i know you guys want to be out here finding women who don't want to experience it now chances are man every woman has had her three or four phase right she's ridden that cc she's had her fun Asking for a virgin or some type of pure woman or waiting for one. I'm sorry, man. In today's age is unrealistic. So what does that mean? That means that now you got to look for a woman who has said, you know what? I realize that I am still young. I'm still attractive. I don't want to spend my 20s being a three or four. I don't want to spend my whole life jumping from joystick to joystick, right? Bouncing. From joystick to joystick, fast, not slow. <laughs> right? She's like, I got to take it easy. I want a man to take me seriously. I don't want to rack out bodies after bodies. It's time to chill out. But she's got to stop all that foolishness to be taken seriously as a potential wife, right? That's to you guys who still see value in a marriage. Don't sign those papers. Get a prenup. Do something. But that's not what this video is about. We're going to move on. We'll talk about that stuff in, in another time. I saw another comment, which I didn't share here, that says, whatever happened to people just coming together and the wife receiving gifts? Like, whatever happened to that? Why is it that, like, a woman has to reenact or just really just initiate her last three or four act before a marriage? That's weird. And really, the truth is, man, when a woman has found a man who she really wants to be with, who she really respects, she's not going to want to do that. She's not going to take that risk to do that. In most cases, she's not going to want to jeopardize a future with that man. That chick at that um, bachelorette party, she knew that she was making a big mistake, but she couldn't help it, man. She is a 304. 
She couldn't help that she was being attracted to the stripper while he was doing whatever he was doing. And she was ready to risk it all. And she did and ended up paying the ultimate price. And what's that? Now she's single, alone, and is not married. Good for him. Be careful out here, especially you guys who plan to get married. Be careful, man. If a woman who you're with or who you consider for like something serious as, as marriage watches something like this and thinks to themselves like, I don't see the big deal. Run away, dog. A lot of women out here don't understand that sacrifices must be made for you to be considered as a wife. You have to reach the expectations. You have to qualify. Guys, you can't have certain jobs if you've been a criminal. You can't be a detective or work in law enforcement if you have a criminal record in most states. At least I know that's the case in California. And people will understand that and hold to that. Right? And if you're a woman out here who's considering marriage, you can't be a 304. You got to put that shit in your past. And I know you guys want to be like, I don't want her to be a 304 at all, bro. Nah. Doesn't exist anymore, man. Doesn't exist anymore. She's had her past. Where's her mindset now? Just like a lot of guys don't, you know, it's hard. It's a hard pill to swallow. It's a hard RP to swallow. But at one point, you were a simp, right? You didn't qualify to be a man who a woman could respect and let lead. And one day you change. There are women out here who decide and understand, hey, you know what? No, I'm watching other women who are jeopardizing their future, jeopardizing relationships, jeopardizing marriage. They're not being taken seriously. They get it. It clicks. But the greater majority of women out here don't understand that you got to qualify. You got to put your three or four ways behind. You got to leave the streets if you want to be taken into a home. You can't be in a home being taken seriously, in a marriage, even a relationship with a man who's respectable and act like you're on the streets. Hey guys, listen, if you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, hit that like button, show your boys some love. Also, let me know what you guys thought of the content. What would you do in this situation? What would you do if you were this man? Do you think he made the right decision or do you think he messed up? Until next time, guys, my name is Chisha Zed. We'll talk soon. I'm out. Peace.